The UAW GM strike capping off now four straight weeks with no resolution in sight. The workers are continuing to strike for better pay, changes to the use of temporary workers, and many other things. Our Abigail James joins us now in front of GM, where workers are now on those picket lines. Abigail, what are they telling you today? Yeah, well, we spoke to the president of the local UAW, uh, Local 31, Clarence Brown, who says that it is hard to say exactly how long they will be out here striking. But as far as he's concerned, he says that they're exactly where they started when they first got out here. He says all they want is to be treated fairly. Now, according to Brown, they usually wait for their leader who negotiates their contract to send them down information and give them either good or bad news. But so far, they have not gotten any, according to a letter to employees, General Motors presented an offer Monday that it felt, quote, achieved our mutual objectives. The company said the offer would increase compensation, preserve health care benefits, and commit to new jobs in the U.S. But the UAW released their own statement telling GM, quote, to stop playing games at the expenses of their workers. Health care is, is important. That's all we're asking for. Fair wages. Those things are important to us. It's our livelihood. That's what we asked for. I mean, people, some people didn't know until now that we helped bail this company out. Now, Brown says the last time they were in a strike similar to this was in 1970, and that one lasted 13 weeks long. We spoke to some of the workers who have been out here striking about how they're working to survive. We'll, we'll tell you uh, more about that coming up at 5. For now, reporting live, Abigail James, KCTV 5 News.